So guys, welcome to unboxing time, or whatever I end up calling this. Essentially, I get a lot of stuff. Sometimes companies will send me stuff. I'm kind of a pretty big spender on my own right, and also now you guys will also be able to send me stuff. I've just set up a PO box, link is in the description below, so if you want to be featured in future episodes, you can just send stuff over and I'll open it on camera, so that'll be fun. Okay, so I know it's pretty far from the most original series on YouTube, but at the same time, opening these boxes is sometimes the most fun I have all day which sounds really sad, but trust me, it's very, very fun. So I just thought it'd be a really cool thing for you guys to join me on. And with that being said, uh, let's get started. What do we have here? Nice looking box. I hope it's a phone. And we have the PPTV. As far as I'm aware, that is a phone. <laughs> Let me just check. Yeah, it's got a 2K display, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 3610 milliamp hour battery as well. That's really not bad at all. So you could be seeing a review of this pretty soon as well if it kind of lives up to expectations. Absolutely giant battery. So as you can see from the packaging, they both look pretty similar. Can, kind of like the same product actually. <laughs> but yeah, one is a battery, the other one is a four port USB charger. Not bad. <laughs> oh, okay, it's uh, it's protein powder. <laughs> Doesn't matter. False alarm. I probably should have done this sitting down. So that's a cardboard box inside a cardboard box. Always handy. Oh, Blitzwolf. You might have heard of Blitzwolf. They've done... They do a lot of sort of phone accessories. A couple of speakers too. In fact, that's probably what this is. But this, to be honest, looks like a really, really high quality product. Like. It could be Bose, it, you know, you could tell me whatever, and I would probably believe you. Um, looks pretty nice. Really, really does. Feels heavy too. I think I might have just broken whatever's in there. This is by the company Orky, so it's a mechanical keyboard. Actually, it looks really quite interesting. I don't know if you can see the, the sort of screws on the board there. It's not really a very typical design. It's quite nice, actually. What tends to happen with these sort of, like, uh, foreign companies with less money, they tend to copy the designs of other more expensive brands just because that makes more sense than spending money on R&D to develop their own products but it's refreshing to see stuff like this so yeah I can't wait to try that out I think I know what it is so basically this is a touch pen for smartphones quite a small tip so you should be able to do things in with much more precision than you would with one of those giant chunky ones oh, I love Amazon okay here we go okay here we go. so it's some sort of... Right, okay, this is something really, really interesting, actually. Um, it's actually, it helps you cable manage your mouse. So it stops the, the cable coming out from your mouse actually getting tangled up. Really interesting kind of product. I guess you can kind of see from here how it works. Um, I'm excited to test it out. I saw it on someone's Amazon page and I was just like, yo, can you send one over? And they were like, yeah, sure. And uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got one left. Um, that kind of giant one over there. Not really sure how to do this, actually. I should probably stand behind it or something. <sighs> Right, knife. Oh. Ah! <laughs> so. Alright, okay, so. I need to put this down somewhere. One at a time. Okay, so. We have the. Um, this is by company Enhance. Yeah, so you stick it under your laptop. It kind of ventilates it, so it brings in air from underneath. Why is it up? And I suppose it acts like a bit of a stand as well, so it raises it so that the angle is sort of better. Cool stuff. I'm probably going to start using that like in 10 minutes time. So then we have a very creatively packaged item. Could be a mouse mat. Yeah. Okay. So this is, um, there's been a bit of a recent trend with some kind of um, monster mouse pads. And yeah, that looks like one of them. Uh, so the total length is... It's 31.5 inches long, so it's about a meter, and that's about, about a meter, maybe a little bit less, a bit more. Pretty good, so it should be able to fit a full keyboard and a mouse on. So, by the company GoGroove. Oh, I've tested, I've tested a couple of speakers from these guys before, actually. They're not exactly super high-end, but value for money-wise, not bad at all, not bad at all. So I'm pretty excited to test these actually. This is the Sonoverse O2i. Yeah, so that's, are they Bluetooth? No, they're not Bluetooth, these are wired. Okay, so they're, yeah, probably PC speakers. Um, 
I'll probably I'll hook them up to the MacBook. Then again, the new MacBook actually has really good speakers on its own, so I'm not sure I need that so much. So guys, that's it for me for now. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below how I could improve the episode further. I think probably the next step is for me to not be standing up the whole time. That would probably help. Do that and anything else on top of that, let me know. Uh, I'd really appreciate the feedback. So with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss and I'm signing out. Ooh.